Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Volkswagen T-Roc facelift. Uh, in this video, we're gonna check the exterior interior details. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click the little bell to get notifications when I upload new videos. It's gonna be also point of view driving uh, review. And without further ado, let's just jump into the review and check the car. Here's the first look of the new Volkswagen T-Roc facelift. Finally, it's here. It looks good just as we saw it in the first videos and renders. Um, there's a lot of new details, but uh, I'm just gonna show you qu quickly the key. It's still the same Volkswagen key. Uh, press to unlock, excuse me, unlock on the bottom, lock on the top, unlock the cargo. It's a grasshopper physical key. Uh, I think this is the reason because of the ship shortage. You can always spec the keyless entry, but uh, this is what we got here. If I unlock the car, you can see mirrors unfold. Daytime running lights turn into turn signals. Now what's interesting, I'm gonna show you the lights at the end of the video, they are connected, and then you have those. I think that might be also daytime running lights or the fog lights, uh, a little confused on that to be honest. But uh, let's come closer and check the details. Now these are the IQ matrix lights. So this is the upgraded version, definitely recommend this. And then uh, this is closed. There's no air tunneling or something here. This is closed plastic. You can see parking sensors are integrated in the car. And this appears to be like a solid white color, non-metallic. Now, uh, th this is the style package, by the way. So uh, you have black plastic and some sort of shiny silver plastic. Now, if I move from the car, you can see gorgeous looking you have big air intake on the bottom and here on the top you can see those are closed for some reason even that one so it's like interesting um, you can see also the fuser on the bottom looks like for off-roading um, it looks interesting this style package and there is a actually wait there's not light here I thought I was sure there was a connected light here, but it's just chrome or the blue uh, light from the top. They've kind of upgraded the salon. It looks really nice because you can see all these nice curves. But yeah, um, okay. So let's move on. So T-Rock is a crossover, but it's sort of like a smaller SUV. Have this black trim on the bottom. So if you're going uh, off the tarmac yeah, it's going to protect your clear coat you can see here's a lot of reflection there's a lane assist camera a light and rain sensor there's another sensor in the middle mirror for the incoming traffic i'm going to check the spec at the end because a lot of you click off so i don't want to lose audience again you can see the side profile the roof isn't sloping down, so that's good. You have more headspace. But this is a compact SUV or a crossover. Again, you have the little uh, chrome trim on the style package. That's the life package. I'll do a separate video, different color. But definitely also interesting alloys. These are all black. You can get them in silver or different finishes. These are... 215 50 r18 so 18 inch alloys i've just driven a life package on 17s very comfortable this tire is even wider so it's all good uh black metallic uh, side mirrors and roof so this is factory uh, you also get this aluminium roof racks chrome on the top on the bottom it's just rubber i don't think the windows are tinted to be honest yeah i don't see the v so i would tint the windows if i was ordering this car but just looking the car from this angle it's gorgeous i really love the first c-rock and it just it looks way better in this blue light so they've changed the design slightly of the rear taillights so they added this uh, like a cat eye reflector it also looks as a nice detail just a little refreshing and yeah still unfortunately those 
fake exhaust tips uh, the actual exhaust is on the bottom to the left uh, but i like this detail as an sort of off-road look now uh, let's pop it open actually car is locked so i'll use the key to my pocket okay so there we go uh cargo space still looks the same i honestly forgot to check this time because i had a really busy day but uh, i'll type in the liters so this is still practical it looks shallow now but you can lower the shelf you can knock down the seats 60 40 with a middle opening now i like when you have a very close or almost flat loading area so over here you have height of two fingers to the loading area you have tether points here and you can extend them here there is a warm light on the right side there are also stoppers here i'm going to show you what's that for and you have grocery hooks inside these are tether points for the isofix you can push this down and then push it inside you can open like a ski hatch and then you think oh this is shallow i need more space no problem just lower this down push it and then you can see look at that that's that's a lot of space now look at that now if we're gonna use fingers as a measure which is kind of dumb but i don't have a meter with me it's five fingers and then yeah almost another five so maybe in total up to this 12 fingers let's say the finger is almost one centimeter and there's another tether point here and tether point there each side but uh we'll pull this up so this is really easy to use even with one hand that easy push this up these stoppers hold the shelf and then you can see inside you get a patching kit um screwdriver and to uh, inflate your tires so this i guess is a for the lifter no spare wheel so it's interesting they put back spare wheels in some models and some they remove them on the top uh you can remove this and then you can take out the emergency triangle or the hazard triangle whatever you call that rubber stopper there you can remove this the shelf is big um, but there's a gap here you can not put an umbrella maybe it would fit if it's wider and coming to the side here you can see also the spoiler is kind of integrated i like this dual tone color and the car really looks nice now if we open this up you can see this is the petrol minimum 95 and check this out there's no more here little hole they've moved it here so you put this here it's like a little picture here so you can see the resemblance so that's just for this to not to damage your clear coat when you lock the car this locks as well the car is just gorgeous it looks masculine design wise i really like the t-rock I also like the new Tygo, which you can check. There's a few models for reviews. Okay, opening and closing sound, excellent in Volkswagen. Seals, there's only one seal though. Going across, uh, I've just driven the car, so uh, soundproof is very decent, up to 130. If you go in 150, then it kind of increases. It is still a little bit taller car, so as expected hard plastics on the rear uh, you get this material or pattern plastic key on the rear uh, this is soft this is leather automatic windows and there's some pockets for the water bottles and a speaker the door could open a little bit wider but it's okay if you need to put a child seat by the way you have these still that you can uh, need to remove and you can lose them so maybe just put them in your cargo space seats these are 
some sort of textile, leather and Alcantara option, or this is something like man-made Alcantara, and there's some textile rough inside, but it does look very elegant and it looks comfy as well. You can see the top lights and how they maximize the space inside. Also plenty of space on the bottom. Now, if you want to knock down the seats, you have to press here and you can see then almost flat entry. So that's quite practical. There's a seat aligner here. So your buckle doesn't stand in the way of the seat. Get inside. Now, I was sitting on the front. I adjusted the seat for myself. I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet. Seat is in the lowest position. You can see plenty of feet room, plenty of knee room. There is this area going inside, so it's comfortable. Let's hear the closing sound. Um, let's say, okay, look at this. This sometimes happens on the cars, like the rubber moves. That's nothing. Um, okay, one more. Hmm, I'm like hearing like maybe a slight rattle sound, honestly, but like really subtle. In Polo, it was a little bit more uh, loud. So it doesn't bother me, but if it was louder, it would bother me. Uh, AC vents, two USB Cs, this is standard now. And the transmission tunnel is quite tall. Maybe narrow, but it would be tight if you had to squeeze uh, three people in the back. All of this is kind of soft. This is soft, and you can stand this tip. There's adjustable cup holder. This is rubber, so you can like have a bigger cup, smaller cup. You know, you can put a phone here, perhaps, or stuff like that. You can open from inside. If you need that, you can see that. Close it up. Uh, of course, these are adjustable. You press here and then lower them down. Windows, quite tall and long. There is this blind spot, but I don't think it's a huge problem. It's a good overview on the rear. Physical switches on the top for the lights. And two meter tall person. Hmm. Uh, I can straight up my back. And my, but my head is hitting, so. I would say for an average person or up to 190, this would be plenty of headspace. And on the top, we get handles all four sides, slowly closing. Shirt hook here and here on the B pillar. This is adjustable. Have in mind, Tygo and Polo do not have these for some reason, whatever Volkswagen politics is. And this is the new front. It looks refreshing especially with the new concept screen on the top. But let's check it up on the front. Um, for the front headrest, you just press here and adjust the height. And uh, if you have kits, you can push a key here, turn it, then you would lock for the from the inside uh, so kits cannot open. And another plus on this car is, well, the doors go all the way down. There are lights here, so they are coming from the, here from, it's like a puddle light. Driver end has a physical blind spot. So, and you can see the turn signal still from the driver perspective. Volkswagen signature on the B pillar, nice details. Good opening and closing sound. Front doors open fairly wide as well. And seals, just a look. Again, good soundproof. Front doors are plastic. Now they did not add soft touch plastic on the front. Doors, this flashes red when the car is locked. You can lock or unlock from the inside. Handles are nice. And you have this in some sort of gray finish, metallic gray finish with the ambient light, which is a nice touch. This is leather, some sort of stitching here. I believe this is like white or silver, but just looks bluish on the blue light. You can fold in heat your mirrors. I believe in re reverse the right mirror would dip. And then all windows are automatic. You can lock the rear for the kids. 
Hey, look at this. You have really big pockets, and you have here this rubber. I wish they added maybe textile here. And there's a on the front door uh, a little light here. That's Yeah, so there's nothing in here and there are no lights but so this is soft and again this is different pattern than the one on the front tire pressure information here uh, more cargo you need to have a higher tire pressure have that in mind checking the front seats still uh, good looking these are classical Volkswagen seats by now but you can see really nice and fine materials in this style package. It's really very well equipped, I would say. This is for up and down. This is for tilt. This is for lumbar. And that one's for push it up, you can slide back and forward the seat. There's a room for reflective vest there. It's automatic, classical paddles. Light switch, keep it on automatic. You extend for fo front fogs and all the way for the rear fox. Keep your light switch on automatic. Do not keep it on daytime running lights. Everything illuminates inside, but your car main lights are off. It's dangerous at night. Move this and you can adjust the steering column. Look at the top and let's hop inside. Excellent closing sound and switching to wide lens. And this is gorgeous. So, of course, as I mentioned, there's going to be point of view driving video separated. So check that out and subscribe to the channel. Now, I got to say, I really like the new T-Rock. This screen is basically the same uh, MIB, I think third generation, but they added this different bezel. But it's refreshing and the whole dash looks refreshing. I'm going to zoom back in. Um, well, these lights really make the car look better and they make it pop. Um, dash. Uh, the dash is soft. Yes, you hear this right. It's soft. First T-Rock was hard plastic dash. Everyone is criticizing that because Volkswagen had soft dash plastics in their Golf 7 and so on. But it's uh, here. They've listened to the customers and they added that uh, speaker in the A-pillar. Little vent blowing here to defrost this, and I got the new air vents. Uh, same principle for open, open, close. So you can see inside, close is open, and I like the design. It's a little bit refreshing, a little bit different. Dash is nice and soft. Uh, there's the center up there, but no vents, and you got this stitching on the top. It looks, it looks a little bit more premium. And you have vents on the bottom of the screen. So the screen is now closer to the top. So your eyes are closer when you're checking what's on the screen. And in the life package, you would get this trim in silver. It's dark gray. It looks a bit bluish because of the light on the top. Um, steering wheel. Uh, well, it's a classical Volkswagen steering wheel. Very nice and smooth leather. There is a little texture to it. It's a... Uh, flat bottom three spoke very elegant looking kind of uh not shiny chrome but like matte silver finish sport paddles you're never going to use um, cruise control options are here distance safeties uh volume i i, uh, I just want rollers like audi skoda set everyone has it but nope volkswagen had to add those buttons like small things but really appreciate that but i do prefer physical buttons instead of those pesky touch sensor capacitive sensors and uh, views trip computer options we're going to show you those pages for the radio you have the uh, digital cockpit and continuing here below the dash uh, you still have like the same this part is the same but um yeah you have hazards you can see them in mirrors from the driver perspective it's a nice big hazard button parking sensors self parking in this car and start stop off they added ac controls 
I'm gonna come back to this uh, once I turn the ignition on. I like the layout, but I would still prefer the wheels and physical controls. USB-C's over there, rubber place for your phone. There's a, a lot of piano black here. I'm not a huge fan of. There's a 12 volt here. So look at this. In some cars, they add the cigarette package. In some, they don't. Of course, smoking is not healthy. I like this personally. And uh, seven speed automatic. I like the new lever. You get the same one if you get the manual. DSG is okay for the most part, but I've seen better automatic transmission uh in some other cars and this is exactly the same looking this is gray black it's a nice combo really i love the details <clears throat> and then this has been changed you have the electronic parking brake now i can't remember from top of my head if it was manual handbrake on the previous model and auto hold for the room here and here this is a rubber mat you can remove and clean it's like a small cup big cups so these are definitely white stitches or some sort of silver can tell <clears throat> this is nice and soft i really love the style pack it's just so elegant and um oh let me switch a light on you can see inside this is kind of piano plain plastic but decent space uh, armrest extends has levels uh perfect something that we love in volkswagen and glove compartment slowly opening now we have a warm light <clears throat> you still get the volkswagen book uh, with some manuals some nice leather looking book and you have a business cards coins no cd player dvd player that's a thing of a past apparently and i don't see a ac vent which i loved but um yeah, that's not here. Uh, no SD cards, anything like that. You just have the USB C's. The seats are really excellent. Uh, a lot of quality materials here, but then this kind of feels cheap. I prefer for like Alcantara, maybe leather on the sides, but uh, but it's still very good. So this is not a high end model. Just have that in mind. So I'm all wishful thinking mirror has a small basil it looks good passenger airbag and seat belt information lights are you can see led you have the emergency um road assistance and i don't know some sort of information button and you have the led light on the top so consistent with the interior light uh, privacy mirror light switches on when you open it and you have a documents holder this is not covering this end it doesn't extend something for the future still waiting Volkswagen to add that um and headspace front headspace loads of headspace on the front for a tall driver and uh, good overview so my eye perspective I can see the hood uh good overview through the mirrors on the side on the rear and checking the blind spot there is that blind spot on the c pillar but it's not that big uh deal so yeah let's uh use the key which is in my pocket and place it in the cylinder because this is again a physical key um again i think that's because of the sh chip shortage welcome to volkswagen now uh it's sort of dark inside so you can see also like the night ambience and you can see everything illuminates in white and some green colors this is really gorgeous looking one of the reasons why i love the volkswagen design and it's just put a lot of details in this uh, aesthetics of the car and now um, let's show you up the uh, digital cockpit uh, it's loading navigation it's a bit slow uh, once you turn on the engine it works faster now uh, you can see navigation has loaded uh, i know the screen is flickering a bit it is not flickering on the uh, in person it's just flickering on the camera now i can't say if it's because of this protect paint uh, protection film that hasn't been removed but uh, just have that in mind 
but uh, very sharp looking as well. Now you can press here, views. So you can have full map navigation look. Of course, there's night and day. Uh, you have all this information on the side. You have the classical bubble and that's it. So like three options. And then in the middle through this, you can switch. This is like radio stations. Uh, over here, you can go to uh, when you connect your phone for the like your uh, contacts. Um, here are some big confirmation with fuel. Uh, driving data, so you can here have range. You can have, um, if I come closer, convenient consumer speed, uh, road signs, oil temperature, trip uh, overview range. Uh, so that's cool. And you also have like on the bottom, a cruise control, trip meter, this is a brand new car, 13 kilometers on the clock, lane assist, uh, temperature, and so on but it's very that easy to use now uh no we don't want to refuel this uh this really looks elegant i gotta say design wise i love it now i'm not going to remove this just to show you here you have radio media phone and voice and you have navigation app car menu now this is the main menu you have this hand gestures it used to be like an option no it's not just to quickly cover so you have here uh, language, Wi-Fi, data, historic copyright, and so on. Uh, maps, you have an option to either use the maps here or in the cluster. So it's your choice. You can't have it both ways anymore. For some reason, Volkswagen only knows. Um, and then here you have, uh, this would be like a day look. So, and then you have the automatic so the car there's a sensor on the top it just figures out if it's day or night and it's darker so the car thinks it's uh, night mode of time now assists uh, you have the sign recognition or the speed limit uh, distance emergency braking a lane and uh, driver monitoring system have in mind that notice how the screen changes when it come closer there's like infrared sensors here probably uh have in mind that uh, in volkswagen you have a lane assist which corrects you if you cross the line or the lane keeping assist which keeps you in the lane so uh, some people get confused and they don't spec what they wanted voice commands are not available in croatia uh station list i'm not going to go through this uh you have station list you can choose a station i'm going to demonstrate some music here use this little knob here so there's obviously some commercials Let's see this one so I can't play the songs for too long but the bass speakers sound okay so I don't want to get copyright strikes I have to mute that um, yeah so the Volkswagen infotainments very easy you have sources here if you really need to it but uh, i believe we all saw the volkswagen infotainment you have here other options um media so you have here source you can connect, uh, check fm dab internet radio bluetooth stuff like that in croatia dab uh test period expired so it's not working at the moment app connect uh, you need to use usb c on the bottom uh, for Apple CarPlay and Mirrorlink, unfortunately, I didn't bring one with me. But then the whole screen is Apple CarPlay. It looks nice in the Polo. So this is very sharp resolution. So it should be good looking. And there's really no need to purchase the Volkswagen navigation in that case. But no, you cannot use then Waze in or Google Maps in your screen uh, in the digital or virtual copy, whatever you call it. Uh, and vehicle information. Uh, fuel, TPMS, uh, driving data, uh, and let's see, digital cockpit. So you can customize this bubble. So you can have V1, 2, 3, and then of course you can customize both of these or just have the classical one. Here are the car settings. Um, 
light settings coming leaving home i'm not going to go through this parking maneuvers volumes and so on if you buy the car you can play with this i've covered this in multiple cars uh, if you buy the car then you can check it up just sit in your car when you get it to the parking lot just this takes a few minutes to check every option it's really not that detail aircon uh, you can always choose the projection on the top you have the fan speed you have the temperatures air care with filter dust from the interior and front you can have it manual uh, you can turn it off and so on air, automatic air recirculation and so on uh, let's see the AC on the bottom uh, you have this slider sliders for uh, you can see on the top it goes red if I put it to heating it, these arrows should go to red but sometimes it just takes a moment uh, so this are the sliders these are for the fan speed you can see the brightness here I really love the layout again the layout is amazing looking but I still prefer the wheels uh, if you are in a menu and then you press the menu on the bottom it brings you to the AC menu you can switch it off here pressing it get will turn it on uh, AC on or off automatic AC max blow rear defroster uh, air direction this looks really cool but if you put it on automatic it's just gonna do what it wants this is dual climate zone so uh, if you change this you press sync then it comes back to the driver profile um, there's really no need to go in any of the other this, other menus um, yeah automatic you can see uh, park illuminates so once you remove move these I need to turn on the engine but then you can see those and you have the Tiptronic uh, there is a little light here USB C's illuminate it's very uh, nice looking inside and I'll show you the light in there uh, and uh, that's about it I think we can wrap it up um, you have the data here uh, you know for your trip meter now uh, let's get on the front and pop the bonnet and I'll show you what's under now we're gonna check the spec spec so uh, we have here T-Rock, so this is the facelift again, 1.5 TSI EVO uh, engine DSG 7-speed automatic in style package, 150 horsepower and 7-speed automatic, as mentioned, pure white color, so this is a non-metallic color, Titan black interior, style package as mentioned, and we have a few options like 18-inch alloys, Grang Hill, uh, Discover Media, um, navigation system, six speakers, 8 inch touchscreen in color, dynamic road sign display, app connect. It says wireless Apple CarPlay, but it says it needs a cable. I don't understand that. But, uh, and there's like Siri and so on, and uh, road sign recognition and multifunction camera sensors, whatever that means. Um, this is a full price. I'm gonna type it in euros. And now you have also tire information. So these are Bridgestone tires that came with the car. Now let's, uh, so above the badge, push it to the left. There's a sound insulation there. You have to use the little leg. Um, four cylinder petrol engine, 150 horsepower. Uh, no Volkswagen badge on the cover anymore, but uh, that's it. It's really no, not too many differences. Uh, blue thing is your washer fluid, and let it drop. Closes perfectly, so you don't have to put it really too high. Just you know, a little bit above and close it up. And I gotta say, the car it looks amazing. Of course, the Volkswagen badge is the radar for the cruise distance, emergency braking, and so on. Now uh, I think we should turn on the LEDs to show you the lights. So I realized if I turn this on, the lights will be on, but they're not gonna turn all the way. And you're interested in full details. Okay. So 
ignition is only on. I'm gonna put the lights on, on, turn on the fogs as well so you can see everything. And yeah, let me just turn the hazards as well. So you can see a familiar design, but a little bit sharper LED taillights. You can see the fog light, you can see the turn signals. So those are only cat eyes, as mentioned. I really love this sharp design on the T-Rock. You can see the side mirrors as well. And then looking at the front. So I can't tell if these are supposed to be dynamic light. I mean, daytime running lights or your fog lights. There is a little light here that might be the fog light, to be honest. Now I'm gonna turn off the hazards. I've switched the lights to position lights. So you can see the daytime running lights. Now I was honestly expecting the connected LED bar, but I don't know, I don't know if I got confused, uh, but uh, the Taigo has it. But you can see these are really bright. So hmm, the fog lights are off now. So these are your daytime running lights. And I see that they're a lot brighter now so they're definitely daytime running lights. Let's see if put it to automatic. Yeah, they're not so bright anymore. But now you can see the main beam. I really advise you to get the matrix option instead of the classical lights that you get there. But that's it. That was the new T-Rock style. So leave your comments below how do you like the new facelift. So everyone, thank you for watching. Be a cool person, smash the like button, leave your comments below how do you like the new T-Rock facelift. And as always, stay safe on the road and at home. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.